Hi everybody, my name is Amy Deacon and I'm a zoologist at the University of the West Indies in the Department of Life Sciences. And I'm here for Wildlife Wednesdays with Shaguanas Public Library to tell you about species from our rivers and streams. Now today I want to tell you about the Zanji and the Zanji is otherwise known as Simbrancus marmoratus and it's a much misunderstood species in our rivers and streams. And I'll start off by showing you a picture in case you've never seen one before. So this is the Zanji. This is its head here and its eye and then its body behind it. So this is actually a specimen in a bucket that I caught during some surveys that was then released. So that's why the head is closer to us than the body. It grows to about a metre and a half long. And this is the, brings us to the first misconception. So some people assume, because it's long and thin and snake-like, that the Zanji is in fact a snake. But it is not. The Zanji is actually a fish. And um, we know this because it has gills and it's closely related to other fish. And it's, it's not related to snakes at all. Neither is it related very closely to the eels. It's a completely separate group of fish to the eels. So we do get eels in our streams as well, but the Zanji is different again. So that's the first misconception that I wanted to clarify, that the Zanji is a fish, not a snake. The second one is you may have heard the rumour, and I've heard this from a few different places, that Zanji suck your toe. And this is something you hear people say, oh, don't step in the water because the Zanji might suck your toe. And First of all, I think this is um, very unlikely to have much truth in it because Zanji have lots of predators in the wild. They have predators like caiman, like bigger fish and birds. So if they hear um, the disturbance of a human stepping in the water, more than likely they're going to swim away as fast as they possibly can because they'll probably assume that you're a threat to them. So I find it difficult to imagine um, how they would ever come close enough to suck um, anybody's toe. So I don't think anyone needs to be afraid of that um, at all. They're completely harmless and they're just another one of the fish that we find in our streams. But they are quite special and I'm hoping to convince you that there's two true things about them that you should remember and um, we, that really are the case. And the first is that although Zanji have gills, which makes them fish, they also can breathe air um, through their mouth. So when they're out of the water the inside of their mouth can actually absorb oxygen even when they're, they're not underneath the water at all. And this means that just like the jumping wahbeen, which we met a few weeks ago, they can move over the land, not just in the water. And they do this at night because then it's cooler, there are fewer predators, they're less likely to dry out by the sun. Um, but instead of the jumping wahbeen jumping, the zanji will, will slither between the different places um, with water. And the second interesting fact about them is that during the dry season, not only can they come out of the water, but they actually can make a burrow in the, in the soil, in the river bank perhaps, um, which is out of the water but buried um, underneath the soil into a little tunnel. And they can kind of go into a sleep, a dormant state where they're kind of asleep for up to nine months um, and stay alive at the end of it. So then when the, ra when the rains come back, they can come back into the river. And that's a very unusual adaptation for a fish to be able to do that for that long. It's really amazing. So I hope what you can take away from today's Wildlife Wednesday is that the Zanji is not a snake, it is a fish. And secondly, that it's completely harmless and you've got nothing to fear about the Zanji. And you may well see it because they also live in ditches and drains in the urban areas, in the towns, as well as in the streams in, in the forest. So if you do come across one, then just admire and enjoy. And there's no need to interfere with it. It's completely harmless. We should just be really excited that we get the opportunity to see and appreciate this, one of this the Zanji being one of the species that we find in Trinidad and Tobago.